it says Dodge on the front bumper. Well, let's be honest. It's a Mitsubishi. This is our 1991 first year Dodge Stealth. 24 valve V6 RT. She is a screamer. And unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, I have a bunch of projects I'm currently working on and I just have to get rid of a few. And this one, she's, she's for sale. So we're going to be letting this one go. Let's take a little look around on it. Give you a little run through. I bought her oh, a few years ago. And the motor's a little rough. The paint was flaking. But it was just so much fun to drive around on and rip around in that I had a lot of fun in it. And unfortunately timing chain timing belt she went out taking out the motor taking the valves and so we ended up pulling the engine completely out completely rebuilding it and then if I was going to do that the tears and the seats and the upholstery we put new seats in it put a new paint job on it and just enjoy driving it The interior, every little button and plastic switch that was broken or not working, I searched out, fixed. The power windows didn't work. They now work. One of the motors failed. I'm actually over 6'5", and I fit in this just fine and drive it just fine. Still has the word stealth in the floor mats, which is crazy and fun. The adjustable seats, authentic cigarette lighter, leather wrapped five steps, five speed, cruise control, the heater controls, the high tech digital readout heater controls, which we'll start it, show that in here in a second. They all work. The only thing that doesn't work is this ESC sport suspension button that uh, adjusts the front shocks or front struts this used to have those sports struts that would stiffen the suspension while you were driving you can't get those struts anymore so um, unfortunately you have to um, put in just a performance strut so it's just a standard performance strut and it looks like i am missing a key so i will come back and give her a start up for you and what our dash looks like, nice and clean. Everything works wonderfully. 74,000 miles on it. I mean, to be honest, the only, only real spot is the buttons have been pushed so much on the volumes and that kind of deal that they don't work as well, or don't look as well. back seat's fine. It has the factory tonneau cover still in it that covers the back latch and that's still there. Well, let's go get a key and fire up for you. Uh, like I said the back hatch still has the tonneau cover. That closes down to keep your inside clean. The carpet's in great shape. No breaks in the plastic. This red lens that goes between the taillights actually has LED strips going through it so they light up with your taillights. And then also brake lights and left side, the left half lights up for the left turn, the right half lights up for the right turn, which is unique to this car. It was a little aftermark thing that someone did that I had to fix to make work properly. Give her a little start. Make sure the sticky stick is in the right position.
there she is. Well, if you know anyone, or if you would just love to have one of the coolest hot rods, Come on, a 1991. Back then, cars were ugly. Economical. Economical? Yeah, you know the word I'm trying to spit out. These were the car of the day. Comment in, see what you want. We can make it happen for you. Hate to miss her, or hate I will miss her when she's gone, but I've got some really cool projects to, to be able to work on once I have the funds from it. Thanks for watching it.